I'm Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times on Monday, March 14th with news from Arkansas and around the world. The Arkansas Travelers, that volunteer group of Arkansans who've supported Clinton candidacies for the president since 1992, are working in Missouri today trying to turn out to vote for Hillary Clinton. She needs the help. Polls show Bernie Sanders closing ground in Missouri, Ohio, and, and Illinois. In Illinois, all important states in this week's Super Tuesday round of primaries. Polls show her ahead in North Carolina and Florida, but they showed her ahead in Michigan too, and we know how that turned out. The Republican side is going to be interesting to watch as well. John Kasich hopes to win Ohio, the first big state he might win. Florida is up on the agenda, and Marco Rubio, if he's beaten by Donald Trump, as most expect, it will be the end of his presidential race. Speaking of President Clinton, former President Clinton, I'm reminded of him today because the, the state unemployment rate came out today. It's 4.4 percent. That's the lowest it's been in 16 years. 16 years ago was 2000. A fellow named Clinton was president then. We're just about back to where we were prosperity-wise when he was president. Terrible storms and tornadoes moved through Arkansas last night, left widespread damage among them to the Mountain Harbor, Harbor Resort near Mount Ida, where some million dollars of damage was done to docks and boats that were docked there. A couple of prison units at Dermont and Malvern also were hit, broken windows, fences, that sort of thing, but uh, no prisoners escaped. Becky Keough, the director of the State uh, Department of Environmental Quality, the state's top environmental regulator, a veteran of a petroleum company, I should add, got some news coverage last week for uh, testifying before Senate committee about the heavy-handedness of the EPA and enforcing anti-pollution rules. We dug into that testimony and found a couple of things that were overlooked in the coverage of that last week. One was Sheldon Whitehouse of Rhode Island, a Democrat, pressed her on whether she thought there was a potential for man-made influence on rising climate, uh, rising temperatures in the world, and also changing ocean levels and the melting of the glacier ice pack. Uh, she just wouldn't answer the question. She said some scientists say yes, some say no. Sheldon Whitehouse said all the scientists he know says a man definitely has a role in this. Barbara Boxer also is pressing Keogh to tell her precisely who in the EPA supposedly told her that the EPA could do whatever it wants to against states as far as regulation concerned. No word yet if, if uh, Keogh has actually delivered that information to Senator Boxer. Boxer said she's happy to do it confidentially. The state of Arkansas is out another $25,000 because Leslie Rutledge continued to fight all the way to the Supreme Court to try and defend an unconstitutional state law to ban abortions at 12 weeks. The, the legal tab is now over $100,000 thanks to fighting what was going to be a losing case from the outset. David Burnett, a state senator from Northeast Arkansas, says he's going to fight at this next legislative session to restore a million dollars that was cut from state library funding in the last legislative session. Problem is, he's a Democrat, Republicans are in control. That money was cut to pay for an uh, income tax increase for higher income people and for a capital gains tax cut for very high income people. It's unlikely he's going to get the libraries or money back. It might help him in his election this fall. A couple of pieces of news about police chiefs. Uh, Fort Smith's police chief, Kevin Lindsey, resigned today. He was overheard making a racially derogatory remark uh, in a meeting with other members of the force. A black employee happened to hear him make it. He resigned. The ball, former Ball Knob police chief, Eric Ballantyne, is going to be in federal court this afternoon, supposedly to plead guilty to a stolen property charge. He apparently took possession of a gun that was the police department's without going through the proper procedure. That amounts to being in possession of stolen property. As part of the deal, the feds are going to not pursue any further whether that was a legitimate arson that burned up his car. You may remember he claimed his car was torched and somebody wrote Second Amendment sayings on it some time ago. He, he later resigned as Ball Knob police chief. There's always been a suspicion that this had some, something to do with controversy caused when Ballantyne arrested somebody for open carrying a weapon into a McDonald's and ball knob. Delta Timber says it wants to has put public artwork on the medians and roads out in the West Little Rock neighborhood known as Chenal Valley, a, a growth in public arts, always a welcome thing in our community. And great news, uh, Arkansas will have one team in the NCAA basketball tournament this year, and it's Little Rock's team, UALR. They uh, won the Sun Belt Championship. They're 29-4. They play Purdue Thursday in Denver. And finally, I, a reminder, just about everything we talk about on this video can be found in more detail sometimes on the Arkansas blog. Today, for example, you might take a look at the Arkansas blog. There's a YouTube video of an ad against Donald Trump. It's nothing more than a series of women quoting, reading from things Donald Trump has said about women. It's not a pretty sight, depending on your point of view on women. I'm Max Brantley. I'll be back tomorrow. You feel it in your heart. The spirit of Little Rock. We've had that spirit since 1927. Helping build our city by producing decades of leaders, 
in the heart of our state. We are the heart of business and innovation, the heart of politics and government, the heart of arts and culture, and in our city beats the heart of a Trojan. UALR, we are Little Rock's team and Little Rock's university.